You can say pura vida. Okay. Pura vida. That's all. <laughs> Hace frío. insects we see around they are honeybees uh -huh. we call them mariolas uh -huh. and mariolas belongs to a family that is called melipona melipona means a stingless bees uh -huh. that's why we are here because they don't sting probably if you open those boxes they're gonna be full of honey and also the most expensive honey i ever try a little uh -huh. bottle like this can be it's a spider web and this is one of the spiders in the world they can produce more than 15 different types of web. In fact, they reproduce them in laboratory and with their web, they are doing cavalars, the bulletproof jackets, they are doing a uh, guitar and violin streams, the clothes for the astronauts, uh, clothes also. So some of them are really, really strong. That is enough to catch, for example, a homing. Little red dot. Here we have the blue jeans poison dart frog. That one is a male producing sounds. Can be for attracting the female or can be because he's defending the territory. Will be a male very close. But they have to smell each other to follow the way back at home. That's why they work a lot, but when it's not raining, you know, mm -hmm. the rain can erase the prey and they're gonna get lost. So that's why So guys, Albert was just showing me these white-faced monkeys up in this tree. We spotted maybe six or seven of them. And he was saying he's observed them in the past um, where they're very aggressive and they will kill um, like rival monkeys of different species. The infant... Um, in front of sometimes the mother and whatever species that is in the white face territory will congregate around the deceased monkey and have like a ceremony for for the fallen and I just thought that was really cool and I wanted to share because these things are very cognizant very clever they know what's going on they are making plans strategically and it's really cool to see in action. So there's one main volcano or are there many? No, in fact, in the, in the history of Costa Rica, 
over 112 volcanoes had erupted. Mm -hmm. Active right now, and according uh, of the book, uh, there are seven different active volcanoes in the country. Seven. Seven. Yes, yeah, seven or nine, depending on the literature. Arenal is the uh, is the youngest active volcano we have in Costa Rica. That's why it's still keeping the really conic shape. Different territories. So the 24 territories and of native people and Two. eight eight different ethnic groups. Exactly. 2% of the people in Costa Rica is still being native. Around 100,000 people is part of those eight different groups uh -huh. we have in our country. Uh -huh. In this area, we find the Malekus, Malekus. Which, is, uh -huh, which is the only uh, native group from this area. The Malekus, they are very nice people. Of course, they already suffered that transculturization. Si. You know, they have influence of other cultures, but they are still keeping their customs and their traditions. No, there's like a whole exactly ecosystem. Oh yes, just... like I was telling to you, there are well almost thirty percent of the vegetation live on another vegetation. Uh -huh. so that means that just one of these trees can have hundreds of different plants living on them. Yeah. Some of them, they are parasites, uh -huh. as some of them, they are epiphytes, uh -huh. like those spiny plants living up in the trees. Epiphyte is when they live up there, but they don't get nothing from the tree. Uh -huh. They get the food from the rain, from the dirt, from the wind. In that way, they're gonna try to keep their houses alive, no? Yeah. And I was telling you, if you live at the top of the tree, you're gonna be living in the best penthouse. The no? best, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. where you get the sunlight. That's where you get all the water. And, and they don't have to compete with millions of plants mm -hmm. living in the forest floor. So. So, guys. Albert was saying that 70% uh, of the time he does these tours, he doesn't see the volcano. So we're feeling pretty lucky today. A clear sky. And we have it completely clear, no? You can yeah. see from where this thing come out. Yeah. See? Look at the people up there. You see them? Not yet. No. So all, hiking. all what we have here is the lava from 1968, mm -hmm. which is the biggest explosion in the history of Arenal volcano in the last uh, 500, 550 years. So from 1968 to 2010, this thing was. Yes, explode. exactly. In fact, the big crater that we are looking at right in front of us didn't exist. Mm -hmm. All that all that increased during this period of activity. We have here is what we consider and call pyroplastic flow. No? Pyroplastic flow. Exactly. If you see, we have rocks all over the place. Why is that? Because inside we have layers of rocks, gases, and a little bit of lava. Rocks, gases, and a little bit of lava. So multiple times, the only way that the gases come out is blowing them up, is destroying them. And that's what produced the pyroplastic flow. In that moment, the surface of the rock produced or the or dries up and produced those, those big avalanches. But when they finish down here, the gases disappear by little explosions of air life, little bubbles. Mm -hmm. And that is why we find all these pores in the surface of the volcanic rock no we have some volcanic crystals inside and if you hold the rock you can see that it's not that heavy it's quite light mm -hmm. i think that one example to see that is the pumice stone that we use for manicure and pedicure mm -hmm. is a volcanic rock that lost all the gases and also became very light the middle, or eventually after they got that area they start getting vegetation and the water from highlands that start uh, flowing all the all the way down and creating this beautiful uh, waterfall that is 
70 meters, like 220 feet tall or high. So the idea is to...